Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wayslam reviewer, and I'm here to review the Apple TV Plus animated adaptation of The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. And this is a new holiday special coming your way to Apple TV Plus, clocking in about 34 minutes of some beautiful, animated, emotional journey. And this is directed by Peter Baton and focuses on a young boy who is lost in the woods and develops an unexpected relationship with a mole, a fox, and a horse. And over the course of this modest TV special runtime, we develop this sweet, genuine, and endearing emotional connection between this young boy and these three animals. And this little film is beautifully animated. This is... This beautiful 2D animation looks very much hand-drawn and looks elegant and works perfectly with this very white background of this snowscape as this boy is lost in the wilderness. And we have not only beautiful animation, but some beautiful and poignant messages along the way about life and survival. This film really pumps out a lot of important and meaningful commentaries, some of which do feel a little on the nose because they're heavily spelt out by our animal characters trying to explain these things to this young boy and trying to help this young boy as long as and along with the audience learn some of these messages, some of these important themes. But something that really elevates this material as well is the extremely talented vocal cast. We have Jude Coward Nickel, who plays our boy, who, you know, does a nice, endearing little boy um, voice performance. But it's the three animals. This mole is silly and funny and portrayed so perfectly by Tom Hollander, who brings tons of personality. You have this fox, who is a bit of intensity, and it's Idris Elba, whose voice is just absolutely fantastic and perfect. And you have Gabriel Byrne, who gives a weightier and more lived-in kind of vocal performance for this horse, who feels older and wiser. And each of these all balance out perfectly. There's some very beautiful, tender visuals throughout this film, especially them all curling up in the woods trying to hide from an intense storm. And all of this together is a short, sweet, to the point, and moving little film that might be finding its way into becoming a Christmas classic, a holiday classic. And we don't get too many of those. We don't get those TV specials that just skyrocket into culture. And I hope that enough people see this over on Apple TV+, Plus, which is an underwatched streaming service to begin with. But hopefully they find this one and help this one become a modern classic, which it surely deserves. But those are my thoughts on The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.